Hi York. I started the LabVIEW CLI project a few years ago when I couldn't get LabVIEW working with Jenkins. Automation tools like Jenkins see the command line as a primary interface and so other languages provide build tools that work with the command line. However, LabVIEW's tools don't work with the command line and we couldn't even build our own because LabVIEW didn't give us the way to provide an exit code back to tools like Jenkins. So with the CLI project, what I wanted to do was build a very basic tool that could become a building block for additional uh, projects that would work with things like Jenkins, uh, which I work with, and I know you've had a lot of success with GitLab as well. It's actually been recognised as a gap by National Instruments, and in LabVIEW 2018 they introduced a CLI tool in the environment. For now, we're going to continue developing ours in parallel because we think we have a few key features that might be useful. The first is being able to have a continuous output into the command line. We can also work with multiple installed versions of LabVIEW very easily. And we can build our LabVIEW BIs into executables that may help with execution time in the future. So that's a really rapid introduction to the LabVIEW CLI tool. Back to you, York.